Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve all. How's everybody doing? Show you Christmas in the van. It's miniature. Oh. What do we have going for Christmas, miss? Well, for Christmas, we are here in New Mexico at the Skip Ranch, and we are going to go have dinner at three um, with the members here. Um, we're going to be bringing some green beans, and it'll be fun. It's kind of a potluck. Everybody brings something, they take care of the meat, and then we all pick out. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, so for the second holiday in a row, we'll be hanging out with uh, the Escapers and Escapees Club. Um, we're right outside of Carlsbad, New Mexico. Great caves, by the way. Um, we'll pop little videos in here for you. And we will go from there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, quick official Merry Christmas to everybody. Not our early Christmas that we had. And uh, we have a beautiful day here in New Mexico. I hope everybody's enjoying family time, enjoying the day, having some fun. Remember to enjoy every day like it's Christmas and smile every day. But uh, here we go. Let's, uh, let's have some fun, enjoy your holidays, and uh, we'll get her done. By the way, you gotta love van life. Merry Christmas. Shitter's full. What kind of Christmas is this, huh? <laughs> oh, well, you know, when it's full, it's full. <laughs> Come on, Cousin Eddie, go, go empty that thing. So what does the future hold for traveling outside the bots? talk about it. What do you think, Alice? Yeah? We're going to go back to the Appalachian Trail? You like that idea? I think he likes that idea. Yeah, we're going to, uh, after the holiday season here, um, play around a little bit in the southwest, and we're going to head back over to the east coast. Very excited about it. So what does that entail? Back to the Appalachian Trail, we're going to head to uh, the Appalachian Trail kickoff, ATC kickoff, which they have at the beginning of March. Uh, I'm going to see the class of 2020, hopefully run into some old friends. Uh, so if you are around in that area or class of 2019 or uh, anybody, feel free to stop on out from there. Um, me and a couple people that uh, hiked last year are going to hit the trail again. Missy's going to be with Hallis, and uh, I'll be hitting the trail somewhere between one week to a month. Um, hard to say how long, but it'll definitely be a blast. Um, and from there, our plan is, which is always possible to change, is uh, go do some trail magic, give back to the community that has given us so much last year. Um, help some hikers out, do some trail magic, and uh, visit just quite a few people that we met last year along the way. Um, a lot of great hikers, a lot of great uh, trail angels we met. So, a lot of good stuff coming up for tour. Early. So you ever wonder what happens in the van on those nights that you never see in the videos? We're not staring at the stars, we're not watching the Milky Way, not even the uh, full moon or the uh, comets and uh, asteroids and Orionids that we've seen. Mm -hmm. No, those are the fun, interesting parts that we include. Uh, so on the other nights we sit in a Walmart parking lot because we're in transit for tomorrow. I'm doing some video editing. Missy's over there putting a puzzle together. <laughs> hey, it's my Christmas present. Right? You might wonder, why does somebody put a puzzle together with a headlamp on? Because there's not enough light. Like no. 
Yeah, the shadow. It's shadows. Why did somebody put it together? Oh well, it's a glow in the dark. So it's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So not every night is glamorous as some of the stuff that we do. Some is just boring. Boring. This is not boring. All right. Well, she's putting a puzzle together. I'm doing video editing. So. And Hallis, what are you always doing? He's napping back there. He's sleeping. He's tired. All right. More adventurous, fun stuff soon. Back to work. Well, parking spots or overnight spots don't always work out the way you want. Yeah. I don't know if it comes out, but this road is extremely smooth. I can fly down this gravel road, but it is all just sand in the desert where somebody just pretty much plowed a road through some BLM land in the desert. We're going to come out here. We're about seven miles out on this road. However, over to Missy's side, and you can see it a little bit there in the camera, it is dark and it is going to rain. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this is the type of road that I want to be seven miles out. No. So we'll play it safe. Couldn't imagine what the towing bill would be from this area. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, get back to the highway, have some lunch, and then head uh, farther towards Tucson. Navigator Missy will find us a spot for the night. Yay. You know, we usually have pretty good luck. And uh, we'll uh, just decide something a little new. But uh, we'll be probably in Tucson next couple days and heading to court sites for a little uh, New Year's uh, celebration. Let's get the hell off this road. Yes. Isn't that what they said in Twister? <laughs> Where's the road, rabbit? <laughs> We're being down south in the desert. It seems weird. We're running from snow from, a, what, the fifth time this year? I know. What the fuck is the deal? <laughs> No swearing on camera, Missy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I should have known you were on video because you have a different voice when you're on video. This is my video voice. He does. He has a different video. Yeah, it's crazy, though. Uh, it's definitely colder in the south this year. There's plenty of warm spots down here, but uh, there's a lot more snow and rain this year than there was before. And that is okay. I won't complain because I see what's going on back home. And your weather sucks. But we're going to head towards Tucson, maybe see some friends from the AT, and uh, get my first beer since being on keto. But more on that later. Let's get to Tucson. All right, back to the keto diet as mentioned. It's uh, it's been a good change. Uh, we've really enjoyed it. Uh, the food is fatty, so it tastes good. It tastes delicious. What are your uh, quick thoughts on the keto diet? I like it. Uh, I thought my sugar cravings would be a lot worse than what they were, but they haven't been too bad. Like yesterday I had one, but we got some um, sugar-free Werther's, little caramel toffee candies. And damn, they're good. Oh man. That like hit the spot. <laughs> so like I really, I'm enjoying it. It's not like one of those diets where you're constantly hungry. Yeah. The food is filling, the food, food is tasty. Um, I mean, and we're still wet behind the ears here. We're a couple weeks in, so we're new to keto, but it's going well. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any keto secrets or keto recipes, please put them in the comments below. And even bigger, um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go back to the Appalachian Trail this year and do some hiking. I'm new to keto. I have no idea how to hike with keto. Um, if you can give me any tips or tricks, um, Joe, if you watch this, Joe Hikes, um, any information you want to pop in there about how you're going to hike with keto, I would love to continue this as I hit the trail again this year, but awesome. Yeah, we love it. All right, so there's keto. We'll jump ahead to the brewery. My first keto beer was phenomenal. Not keto, 12 carbs in there, but I only had one. Uh, Green Feet Brewing in Tucson. We got to visit some uh, a friend mm -hmm. from the Appalachian Trail. Yeah. It was amazing to sit down and bullshit with yes. Zona. We first met her on a rainstorm and hailstorm going over Albert Mountain. Yes. If Albert Mountain means anything to you, you know how shitty that was. It's no joke. 
Uh, but yeah, so her and her husband own Green Feet Brewing. If you're ever in Tucson, do stop in. The, it's a small little brewery. The beers are phenomenal. They They're awesome. very. I had yeah, yeah, they're awesome. I had a little flight, and oh man, every single one of them was good. They had the best uh, Hefeweizen that I've ever Hefe. We'll just call it. <laughs> I've had the best Hefe in a long time. It really was good. And um, they had one called Snickerdoodle. And one, uh, a Holly Jolly, which were both like festive for Christmas, and they were delicious. One tasted like a pecan pie, and the other tasted like a Snickerdoodle. Yeah, they were they're on point. Uh, the yeah. IPA was extremely well balanced. Really good beer from a yeah. small brewery. Check them out. Uh, but we're gonna go walk the dog with a bunch of people here at uh, it's, uh, the Scape Aid Convergence uh, New, Year's New Year's Bash. Any of these words you put together and probably make what we're at. It's pretty cool. It's a group of uh, overlanders, full-time travelers, um, a large community, as I've mentioned, kind of like that community on the AT for us. We're going to spend uh, New Year's with them and have a little fun, but we will uh, catch up to you guys later. Well, welcome to New Year's craziness. Who would have known after being uh, in van life, kind of running solo, sorry as I twist here for Hallis, that... Uh, just like the Appalachian Trail, we find kind of our road family, like a trail family. So every once in a while we are meeting up with the Escapers group. This one is the New Year's Bash. And uh, let me show you around. Hundreds of vessels out here. And yes, some flying machines. the amazing Arizona desert sunsets. Yeah, for the next three days or so, um, this will be uh, where we're at. Celebrating New Year's, <laughs> having a riot, and what I understand that, what was the drop, Missy? <laughs> the sewer hose drop. So instead of dropping the ball with a bunch of RVers, you drop the sewer hose, so yeah. stay tuned. That'll be worth viewership alone. <laughs> Mark on the sky bar over there. It's a half a Mini Cooper turned into a bar, cooking it up. This will soon be a uh, New Year's that we won't forget, right, Missy? That's right. It's great. It's been a lot of fun. Gotta love finding a little uh, nomad uh, community out yeah. in the wild. There's just a ton of people here. Yeah, it's going to be a riot. Yeah. Probably about another 100 yet to show up. Yeah. So, uh, party Cheers. on. It's tequila, no, no carbs. <laughs> Catch you soon.